Hello, beloved ones. Dr. C.J. Adams, Dr. Goddess on Love and Life. And I am on the last leg of my love journey for this, at least this particular journey. Behind me is my favorite place of this whole journey. It's the cemetery here in Houston. And I know I'm slightly insane that that was my favorite place, but it has indeed been my favorite journey as I've talked to those who have gone before me. Today, I just want to offer you a quick question. What sway does death have in your life? Where has fear of death, fear of loss, gotten its clutches into you? so that you are immobilized. As I've walked through the cemetery here, um, I've seen names that are familiar. In fact, I saw a um, tombstone that said you. So I had to laugh because even I am already buried back there. And the reality is that at some level, I am buried back there. Each new moment is new life, which means it also brings the death of the moment before. What we've become so attached to is how the life is lived in this body. Remember, you are not this body, right? I could yank, I could pull this hair out. I'm not pulling out the hair of my essence. I'm touching and pulling out the hair of this body. When this body ceases to be, I don't cease to be. I had a wonderful opportunity to visit with my sister this last week and she and I were talking about uh, death and, and moving on and both of us are of the same heart set. Cremate me and spread my ashes anywhere you want. Why? Because my body is not what's of importance. My essence is. My mama and daddy have passed beyond this life and yet they walk with me every day. My grandma and grandpa, they, they talk to me every day. All my loved ones that have gone before, they're still here with me. They journey with me. How attuned are you to those who have gone before? Are you listening to them in your ear? Do you know that they are your guides? They went before you for a reason. I have a baby who stayed here on the planet with me for four days, 20 years ago. And she's, no, more than that, 26 years ago, 27 years ago. And she still walks with me every day. And I hear her and she guides me. And yet I don't have her body here. When we place all our attachments on life within this body, we will always be controlled by fear. Because there's that fear of what harm will come to the body, what harm will come to the body of my loved one? But when we attach at the soul level, when we weave together, we know that that's a true union. You know, when I leave my loved ones, I cry. I always cry. Why? Because I know that could be the last time I see them. And I'm about to cry now. I'm about ready to say goodbye to a dear friend who's hosted me this week or this last two weeks. Maybe the last time I see him in physical presence. Why am I crying? Am I crying because I believe the relationship ends? No. I'm crying because I am so full of gratitude, so full of love, so full of thankfulness that we had a human physical opportunity to feel each other eye to eye, ear to ear, to hear each other in this physical realm. But the reality is, if I never see him again, if we don't talk again, if, if something happens and I don't make it home, the reality is that we are united. We are one. And once a relationship begins, it never ends. For eternity never ends. Soon I'll be writing an article on living in the universal flow of love. The universal flow of love guarantees that once I connect my love to yours, it never ends. So death, where is your sting? Right? Death, what dominion do you have over me? 
as long as I live in love and I know the truth that I'm soul, you have nothing. I have to let go of my attachments, my delusions and illusions in order to live confidently and freely in that knowing. But the reality is, death has no sting. All right, my beloved ones, walk in the freedom of your essence today. Be aware of your attachments and see where you can loosen the hold a bit perhaps. Walk out your magnificence today and remember above all else, we are one. I love you.